Hey guys, welcome to this week's Cobra Camp and today I'm gonna go through with you guys why you don't have a six pack. Usually there are three main reasons why you don't have a six pack and what I'm gonna run through today, it can be a combination of all of these reasons or just one of these reasons why you don't have a six pack. So that's today's video. If you like the video and it was helpful, remember to hit that like button, subscribe and go to Cobra Camp's Facebook page and follow us there. Let's go. Reason number one. No, you guys <laughs> make me wondering, whoa, that escalated quickly. Why is it short off? Again, I'm not trying to show off, but I want to give a demonstration, right? Reason number one is your body fat percentage might be a bit too high. So, for example, you might have visible solid muscles under there somewhere. But if your body fat percentage is too high, you are never going to see these abs you've been training so hard for. So for example, if you look at my arm, right, the body fat percentage, the percentage fat in my arm is usually very low. And if you look and I try to pull the skin on my arm, you're going to notice the skin there seems very thin, right? And that's because the fat there is very low. Now if you look at my stomach, right and I do this you notice I can pull a larger chunk of skin and that's because the body fat percentage around my torso is a lot higher than at my arms so what you're gonna find if your body fat percentage around your midsection is too high it doesn't matter how developed your abs are you're never gonna have a visible six-pack if that is too high so you're gonna have to walk from your diet to lower your body fat percentage to walk your way to lower two visible abs and that's reason number one mm, I think this is not gonna make it <laughs> what do you think <laughs> so she would need to walk on her body fat percentage what do you mean you call me fat <laughs> no but yeah this is a big chunk. Oh well. <laughs> Reason number <laughs> two. Sometimes you're gonna notice persons are very slim. They have a really low body fat percentage. Yet, whoa, I still don't have abs. Why? I thought he said once I get my body fat percentage low, I'm gonna see my abs. Well, that is for persons with higher body fat percentage who have developed abs however if your body fat percentage is low and you're still not seeing abs it simply means your abdominal muscles are not developed enough basically all muscles work the same whether it's your biceps your abs your chest you have to grow them and if your ab muscles aren't developed enough it doesn't matter if you get your body fat down to 10% you're still not gonna see them because they're not developed enough. So persons who are slim and still don't have visible six packs, then you need to spend some time putting in some ab work and developing those ab muscles. And as the muscles get bigger, as they get more developed, and your body fat remains low, you're gonna notice a nice ab shape starting to come, come in. So that is reason number two. Your muscles aren't developed enough. If you have nothing under there, then when you take off the fat, there's nothing to see. All right? That's number two. Whoa, shirt off again. <laughs> again, I'm about to do a demonstration. Don't crucify me, okay? Make now, it. reason number three why you don't have a six pack is because, well, you don't have a six pack. Um, no, duh. Uh, right? No, what do I mean by that, right? Guys, you need to understand, and this is where genetics come into play, everybody's muscles are going to have a different, a slightly different appearance. And even though we all technically have the same number of muscles and striations, some persons, for whatever reason, their abs are not going to appear in six chunks or eight chunks some people putting it simply do not have a six pack some people have four 
some people have six some people have ten some people even have ridiculous numbers like 12 and that is something no amount of training and dieting is gonna fix that's just your genetics so me for example i am a four pack guy when i flex my abs there are only four solid chunks that you can actually feel and then i can actually flex down here there's nothing it's just it's just empty and it doesn't matter how much i train my lower abs that isn't gonna change and i'm gonna put a picture of one of my good friends kavi from my country we usually joke and call him like the ab king because like he has sick ab genetics and when kavi flexes you can actually hold about eight solid chunks you can rub his stomach and feel one two three four five six seven eight and kavi and i have been doing the same training for the same amount of years same effort and his abs look like this and my abs look like this there's literally one two three four chunks and training cannot magically change the shape of my abdominal muscles some persons are gonna have a more pronounced v than others luckily i have a very pronounced v and yeah this has to do with training but the general appearance of your abs in terms of having a one pack two pack three pack four five six seven you can have odd numbers some people their abs aren't even aligned properly i know one of my friends domo from home the left side is a bit lower than the right and training doesn't really change that all you can do is work with what you have and make it the best whatever number your genetics have given to you and what you could kind of do to gauge what type of pack person you are again this is putting things in very simple terms okay what you can do is flex your abs and rub your hand along your stomach and however many hard pieces you can feel like actual chunks actual packs that's how many you can expect to see as you continue training and dieting down to cut the body fat so for me i spent a lot of years trying to walk and train and get a six pack and i noticed wow i even have like a picture where i posted like four pack already done six pack coming soon thinking if i just keep training lower abs intensely i'll get a six pack and it never came and the reason is i'm not a six pack guy so when I realized that muscles don't work that way and everybody has a different appearance of their ab and how many packs you have, I decided I'll keep training to give myself the best four pack ever. And that's what I continue to do to this very day. So that's the final reason why you don't have a six pack. You don't have a six pack. So I hope this video was helpful. And if it is, remember guys, go to our Facebook page and follow Cobra Camp there and hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one